first sum 1 by 2 divided by 7 by 12. So here both are fractions but you have to divide. So 1 by 2 you have to write as it is. So because fractions no need to uh, write no need to apply the step 1 because it is already fraction. If you have a whole number only you have to make it as a fraction. But here is a fraction is given in the sum itself so no need to do it. So after that division you have to write 7 by 12. So I am going to multiply. I am going to multiply 7 by 12. Division means you have to uh, what? First is a dividend and divisor. So this second step you start with the second step. 7 by 12 is a divisor. You have to make this divisor as a what? Reciprocal of the divisor. 7 by 12 means you have to write 12 by 7. You have to write it as a upside down. So 12 by 7 I, you have to write it. So if you write 12 by 7, you have to change the sign here. Don't forget to oh, change the sign. So 1 by 2 into 12 by, oh, 12 by 7. So 1 into 12, you can get 12. So 2 into 7, you can get 14. So after that, what you are going to do? You have to make this answer. You have to make the term as the lowest term as much as possible. So it's so a common divisor. I have to take 2. So here also 2. So 12, by, 12 divided by 2, 6. And 14 divided by 2, you can get 7. So I have to divide as a, I have to take the common divisor as 2. So 12 is divided by 2. If the numerator is divided by 2, then the denominator also divided by 2. 12 by 2, 12 divided by 2, you can get 6. 14 divided by 2, you can get 7. So 6 by 7 is the answer for this question. Uh, children, I think so you understand the concept very well. So let's, um, for, let's start the, let's start the sums. Before you are going to start the sum, you have to Follow all the rules and regulations. Memorize the rules is very important. And also go through these videos many times. And you will practice more sum. Then only you can thorough in the concept. So let's start the second sum. So 1 by 3 is divided by 5 by 9. So I have tried 1 by 3 as it is in 2. So this is the dividend and divisor. So make this divisor as a reciprocal of the divisor. You have to write 5 by 9 as upside down that you can get 9 by 5. So the answer, so if I cross means 3, uh, if I cross the uh, cross by 3 by 9, so you can get, if you take a cross by 3 by 9 means you can get what? 3, 3 threes are 9. So otherwise 3 divided by 3 you can get 1, 9 divided by 3 you can get 3. So I cross, uh, I cross, um, I cross by uh, 9 by 3. So the answer is 3. 1 into 3 you can get 3. So 1 into 5 you can get 5. So 3 by 5. Here after you can't what make this term as lowest term. This is the final answer for this question. And after that what you are going to do? 6 by 7 divided by 2 by 3. 6 by 7 is a fraction you have to write as it is. The dividend and divisor. So you have to make this device as a reciprocal of the divisor. So you have to write this 2 by 3 as 3 by 2. Like upside down, upside down, 3 by 2. So I'm going to cross the number. If I cross by 2, you will get what? 3 into 2, 6. So 3, 3 is are 9. And divided by what? 7. 1 into 7, you can get 7. So 9 by 7. This is the answer for this question. You can't simplify this term. So lowest term is 9 by 7 only. So this is the right answer for this question. Otherwise you can do one thing. So 6 by 7 into 3 by 2. You have to write like this. That is 6 into 3, 18. And 7 into 2, 14. So divided by common divisor 2. Here also common divider is 2. Common divisor is 2. 18 is divided by 2. You can get 9. And 14 is divided by 2. You can get 7. 9 by 7, the same answer. So you can do this step also. You can do this uh, what um, model also. This is another type of the method. And next last is 3 by 5 divided by 1 by 2. So 3 divided by 5 into. So what you are going to do reciprocal is what? This is a dividend and this is the divisor. You have to make this 1 by 2 as a what? Reciprocal of the divisor that you have to write 1 by 2 as 2 by 1. So com what is? It is a reciprocal of the divisor. You have to write as a upside down you have to write this term as upside down so you have to write 3 into 2 you can get 6 
and 5 into 1 you can get 5 6 by 5 it is improper fraction anyhow you can't simplify the star simplify the term otherwise you can't make the term as a lowest term so what you're going to do 6 by 5 is the upside uh, sorry 6 by 5 is the answer so you can't simplify the term or you you will not make this term as a uh, lowest term so what you're going to do if it is improper fraction you will convert into mixed fraction so 6 by 5 means what you will get 6 divided by 5 so 1 by 1 1 5 is a 5 so 6 minus 5 you can get 1 so 1 is a quotient and this is a reminder this is what dividend and this is a divisor so answer is 1 is a whole number and so 1 is a quotient is a whole number the remainder is as a numerator and the divisor as a what denominator 1 1 by 5 1 1 by 5 1 is a whole number 1 by 5 is a proper fraction so already I've told you what is a mixed fraction whole number and a proper fraction is called as a mixed fraction so answer is 1 1 by 5 this is the right answer for the question so we have solved four sums for the division uh, four sums we have solved four sums in uh, what four sums in division uh, first we have seen there is whole number with the fraction after the fraction with whole number now we are going to what divide fraction with fractions and also you will make the term as a lowest term okay so kindly go through the sums again and again repeated uh, go through go through and watch the videos repeatedly so you can understand the concept very thoroughly